Would you consider this a portable wireless battery bank? Like it's huge. But out of the four out of 20 packs that I've tested so far, it's the most efficient. Now to find out what this year's best G2 wireless battery pack is, I bought 20 plus of them, tortured the USB-C port, melted my iPhone by doing wireless charging sprints, reviewer, not influencer, and also I had to figure out how to do some coding in order to drain the packs in iPhone consistently. Now this isn't your typical uh, G2 wireless charging bank. It really is overkill from my perspective. The battery bank supports a pile of different charging rates. Ugreen pulls a fast one with their marketing. It's 100 45 watts. You're like, ooh, it's EPR rated. No, max output is only 100, which is still pretty good, but yeah, 145. Come on, Ugreen. This thing does have Ugreen Nexode's well, little silly there. robot thing. I don't mind it. I really dislike how it has to boot up and the robot shows up. Yeah. When it comes to uh, voltage accuracy and stability for the uh, charging protocols, for the PDOs, it was 91%, which is a bit better than average. But for the PPSs, it was way below average. I've tested a bunch of Ugreen battery packs and that's just kind of how they operate. PDO decent, PPS not decent. In my real world capacity tests, when I was pulling 100 watts from the uh, battery pack, it conked out at 53%. Had to do the whole let it reset itself before finishing off that test. With another 100 watt test, this thing died at 10%. So there was 10% left? Yeah, there wasn't. Now on average, I pulled 52.1 watt hours from the pack. To recharge the pack, it took 75.6 watt hours over a span of 109 minutes. So less than two hours to fill, which is just, oh. This EOSR product that I reviewed in the previous video has half the capacity, but charges in double the time. For me personally, having that fast recharge rate is just, oh. So with this product, we get 52 watt hours out for every 76 we put in. Gives us an air efficiency ratio of about 69%, which is decent. When it comes to Qi charging, this thing doesn't look like the other products. You do get to choose the angle at which you uh, set your iPhone on, which is kind of nice. One of the silly well, things about there. this product is that it doesn't tell you what the output is coming from the uh, charging pad. It's hard to see, but it'll tell you all the uh, different ports. This thing has three ports. Make that make sense. When it comes to wireless charging speeds, I got 21% in 30 minutes, so not terribly fast. To give the iPhone uh, the 21% or approximately 2.9 watt hours, it took the battery bank 4.1 watt hours. That gives us an efficiency ratio of 70%, which is pretty good. Cause then the current average right now is about 60%. And when it comes to thermals, during the discharge testing, it reached 43 degrees. And with the Qi2 discharge test, it reached 60 degrees. Those are all above average values. So this thing runs hot. Heat is gonna be an issue. This thing got so hot that it defaulted to like a five watt uh, charge rate in one of my tests. And I was using it for a video call by, you know, setting it up like this. And this thing got so hot, my iPhone didn't charge. It didn't discharge, but it didn't charge. So yeah, Ugreen needs to figure something out with this. In terms of size and weight, this thing weighs 555 grams. It's so heavy. For magnetic connection strength, it takes uh, 6.9 newtons to kind of put your iPhone off and about 30.3 uh, newtons to pull it off. 6.9 for moving it this way is way below average, but uh, 30 newtons for pulling it off this way is above average. So. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure it should be the other way around because just gently tapping on it, this thing just, your iPhone's just gonna come right off. So in terms of price and value, this thing is $200. It's so expensive. Given the heat issues, given the very average Qi charging times, I wouldn't buy this product if I wasn't a reviewer. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best T2 wireless battery packs are. If this somehow makes it into the top five, make sure you use my links to get it. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. All I care about is just finding the best accessories for our tech. Thanks for watching.